time out and go to sleep. So at the moment this one is asleep. If I touch it, it'll wake up. So if the screen is black, it's just gone to sleep and you just touch it once and it wakes up. And you don't have to worry because it doesn't respond to that thing that you touch. So you're not accidentally going to touch something wrong. Um, so the only difference on this panel is this lock front panel button at the top here. And if I hit that, it'll turn orange. And I don't know if you can see, you can see a little lock on the screen. And it basically just says that AV system is only controllable from the bar. And if I touch that again, it'll unlock and now it shows the same as this screen. So that's the only difference between these two screens, otherwise they always follow one another. Um, if you lock the screen and then you shut the system down, it'll automatically unlock. There's no way to leave it locked in an off state at the moment. If that's something you guys find that you want, we can add that later. Um, so again, everything here is exactly the same. Um, you still get your response back from the radio mics on here. You can still swap the input source. This will still go through the PA system. It's further down from where I was before. But if I turn that back up, that's still normal level through the PA. Um, this input plate here, exactly the same as the front, but this is the one that's labeled bar HDMI, obviously. And this is the bar auxiliary input. So if I plug this into so if you plug that into your phone the and play some music, um, you will have to touch auxiliary input because it's red at the moment. So if you turn it to green, the kids' music is not on here. <laughs> Wiggles. Oh. Yeah. It's ready. a good excuse for the music that you listen to. <laughs> listen to me. Language involved. Um, um, so you have to just hit auxiliary input, the red one, turn it green. There you go. So it doesn't matter if you turn your phone on first or that first. Doesn't matter. All that all this is doing is muting and unmuting this input. So you could have it on and have it unplugged and it wouldn't do anything anyway. But it's just a fail safe to make sure you comprehend that you have to turn it on. Oh, this one. Don't be Jackson's. <laughs> um, so if we go on audio <laughs> levels as well, it's automatically set to 80%. You can turn it down from that, if, but you can also turn it up and down on your device. So, and you can mute it, and you can see here, that's all this green and red button is doing, is turning on and off the mute. So it's just another copy of that button. I think we can all control it from here. No one's stuff on the front. Yeah, you can so still I'm, control the bar one from there too, can't you? You can still, they follow each other. The only difference is the uh, the fact that this one has the ability to lock yeah. that one out. Yeah. But you can't well, ever lock this one out from that one, if that makes sense. It just locks to keep that one locked. Mm. Not mm. unlock it on that side. Yeah, when you have a function. Yeah. The only time you it turns would... off and on it, yeah. it always stays locked. Because you said when you turn it off, uh, unlock the whole yeah. thing. At the moment it does. Did you want to have it so that it's, you can always leave that one locked? Or? Oh, no, I'd leave it as is. I think mm. we can chop and change. Yeah. We, we have found before that that's been a problem because sometimes this bar door is locked and someone will come in wanting to use the room and it's locked and they can't get to it. Yeah. So we usually find the safest is when you shut down, it unlocks yeah. everything. And then if you're using the system, you start it up here, you lock it here, you know you've got access to it. Um, and I mean... There isn't speakers no, outside at the two moment. On the face and eight in here. Yeah. yeah. We can Bluetooth them later. Um, so, and you can talk over the top of this or so over the music. Karaoke style. And you can also yeah. be playing a video on your laptop and have the sound from there as well if you wanted to. Can you get feedback on the mic from the speakers? You shouldn't. I've got to tune them in 100% still, but at the moment, even if I turn them up to full, unless I stand at a speaker and go like this, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't feed back. So. Yeah, it just put the microphone volume down there. Yeah, but I should basically we aim to leave it so that you can turn it up as loud as you want here and you can't get feedback. It's the aim. Uh, obviously, if you climbed up on a ladder and pointed it to the speaker, but that's ridiculous. Um, that's basically it for the system. And then if we go to shut down here, we go confirm, it'll turn everything off. Love that. Look the picture. Um, and then that gets us back to the home page, ready to start again. And the front screen would have unlocked. So it's all ready to go. And these HDMI cables are all at stage? Yep, we'll leave them with you. What I'll do is I'll just kind of 
twist them up like that and tie them up there, and then it's up to you guys to decide whether you want to leave them there or store them in a drawer or whatever you'd like. When Ian gets back, we'll probably install a shelf or something in there that people can sit their laptops and do it. So we'll just, we'll just tolerate it as we go. But yeah, to leave yeah. the cords in there and run things from you. Perfect. So the overall kind of scope of the system, you've got two radio microphones. Uh, they're both handhelds, they're both identical to this. I will label them one and two. You've got two HDMI inputs, one at the front of the room, one at the back of the room. And you've got one, H uh, one VGA input for old laptops at the front of the room. Um, and you've also got this MP3 input, and that's basically it. And two, two places to control it from. Um, should be nice and simple. Um, yeah. I've just got to troubleshoot the last little bugs with getting the TV to turn on and automatically unmute and things like that. Um, but that's just because I've only just uploaded the program, I haven't finished troubleshooting yet. But other than that, it should all work as intended. Any, yeah. any other questions? Anything that it's not doing that you thought it would or that it is that you didn't? It's doing what I thought it would do. So. Perfect. Yeah, no, it's all good. Cool. Very good. Well done. Awesome. Mm -hmm.